Good day and welcome back to our class. Our lesson for today is amortization. If you have a stable job and you want to buy a house, however, you don't have enough cash, what will you do? Meaning to say, you will opt to a housing loan. This housing loan is an example of amortization. If you say amortization, this is the process of paying a loan plus interest by making a series of regular equal payment. So here in our topic, we will discuss two types of amortization. So the first one is annually. So meaning to say equal and annual amortization. On the other hand, we will have the monthly. So this is equal monthly amortization. So let's have equal annual amortization, meaning to say the payment of your loan is once a year. So here's the formula for annual amortization. So we have this expression such that the P is the principal, R is the interest rate, and T is the number of years. Let's have our example. Suppose you plan to get a 90,000 pesos loan from a furniture dealer at 18% annual interest with an annual payment that will pay off in over 5 years. What will be your annual payments on this loan? So before we solve this problem, let us consider first the given. So the present value is 90,000. So the rate is 18%. And the time is equal to 5 years. Applying the formula for this problem. So we have present value times R divided by 1 minus the expression 1 plus R raised to negative T. And substitute the given values of the present value rate and time and our payment or annual payments for this loan is equal to 28,780. After we get our amortization, we will construct now the amortization table or amortization schedule. Whenever we say amortization schedule, it is a complete table of periodic loan payments showing the amount of principal and the amount of interest that comprise each payment until the loan is paid up at the end of its term. Okay, let us consider now or let's construct now the amortization schedule. So from the given, there are five periods. So we simply write one, two, three, four, and five. So let's center this one. Okay. Then we have for the beginning balance. Our beginning balance is 90,000 pesos. Enter. Then our annuity payment is 28,780. Enter also. And take note that the interest is equal to the product of your beginning balance times the interest rate. Take note that rate is equal to 18%. So we may plus multiply the beginning balance by our rate of 18%. So we have here is equal to the beginning balance times 18% or in decimal that is 0 0.18. Enter. Okay, next. The principal repayment is equal to annuity payment minus your interest. So we have here, in this case, our annuity is 28,780, or that is in C3, minus the interest. So we have 12,580. And next one, the ending balance is equal to your beginning balance minus the principal repayment okay so that is actually 12,580 and just press enter next we will move on our second period or our second year so here the beginning balance is equal to the ending balance in year number one so we will press equal sign and we will copy this cell. So this cell is equal to F3 and simply press F3. So meaning to say here the beginning balance in the second year is the same as the ending balance in the first year. Then simply drag down. Okay. We observe there are blanks. And for our annuity payment, okay, we have the same payment from first year or first period to fifth period. Then we have for the interest. Drag down. 
Okay? Also for the principal repayment. Okay. And finally, for the final balance. Okay. So, observe that. Okay? As the time increases or the period increases, your interest payment is decreasing while your principal repayment is actually increasing. And also, for the ending balance, okay, such time it is actually decreasing such that it will result, okay, will be equal to approximately zero. Now, in this example, we have four cents. It means that we need to pay another four cents. Now, to make this one zero, we will add four cents to our annuity payment. So, let's add four cents here and enter. Observe that the ending balance is now is equal to zero. Next, if we want to find out our total annuity payments, so we will type in equal to sum, okay, and then we have this, okay, column, and close parenthesis, enter. Meaning to say, all in all, you paid 143,904 cents. Okay, then after that, we drag it down, okay, until principal repayment. So, take note that annuity payment is equal to interest plus principal repayment. Meaning to say, you paid 53,904 cents for the interest, while for the principal repayment is 90,000 pesos. Meaning to say, this is the one you borrowed. Sometimes, annual amortization is quite long. So business are opting to monthly amortization because of two things. First, we have the lower amortization or lower payment. And the second one is faster repayment. So this is the formula for monthly amortization. So take note that it is almost the same, okay, except that the rate is divided by the frequency in a year. So we have the following legend. So P is the principal or the present value, R is the interest rate, N is the frequency in a year, and we have the time. Let us consider this example. So compute for the monthly amortization of a loan amounting to 50,000 pesos from a bank of at 8% annual interest payable in two years. So let us consider first the given. So we have the present value is 50,000, the rate is 8%. The frequency in the year is 12 and the time is equal to 2. Now, so we will apply the formula of this expression. So this is amortization per month or monthly. Then we will simply plug in the numbers. So we have 50,000 uh, 50, times the expression 8% divided by 12 all over 1 minus the expression 1 plus 8% divided by 12 raised to negative 12 times 2. Take note that if I have 12 times 2, that is equal to 24, meaning to say you have 24 payments in all. So the value of your annuity or your monthly amortization is equal to 2,261.36. Okay, so since we have here monthly amortization for 12 years, meaning to say we have actually 24 payments. So I put there 24 payments. Next. So our beginning balance is equal to 50,000. So let's encode 50,000. And then our, okay, instead of, uh, okay, annuity payment for year, so we have monthly annuity payment or amount, uh, monthly amortization. And the value is 2,261.36. And take note that interest is equal to beginning balance times the rate. Our rate is 8%. However, if we have monthly amortization, so we have actually beginning balance of 50,000 times the rate of 8%, or we can rewrite this one as 0 0.08 divided by 12. So this is the difference. So we divide the rate by the frequency in a year. So we have 333.33. So meaning to say every month you are paying Oh, for the first month, you are paying 333.33 as interest. Next, for the principal repayment, so I have here annuity minus your interest, enter, 
And finally, for the ending balance, that is equal to beginning balance minus your principal repayment and then end. Next. So like what we have done in annual amortization, so the beginning balance on the second period is equal to the ending balance in the first year or the first period. So just copy at three. So then enter. And all the rest, we will drag it down. So let's drag it down, guys, until to the four, 24th payment. Okay. Next. Let's do the same on, also for annuity. And then let's have also for the interest. And we will do the same also for the principal repayment. And finally, for our ending balance. Okay. So as you observe, we have actually 12 cents here. So meaning to say, to make the zero, we will add 12 cents to our last amortization payment. So let's add here 12 cents. So this will give us 0.48. So, okay. so this must be 0.48. There you go. Okay, so now this is now equal to zero. Now, if we are interested to find the total payment, so we will write here equal to sum and then open parenthesis and then we will get this. Okay, we simply highlight. Then close parenthesis there. So this is your total payment and drag down or drag, okay, the formula. So, if we will observe here, okay, to zoom in, so you pay in all 54,272.76 as annuity payment, total annuity payment, for the interest is 4,272.76, while the principal repayment is 50,000 pesos. So, take note that, Okay, for your annuity payment, it is composed of your interest plus your principal. That's it.